Dance Production. So before you start cutting the hair, you want to make sure you prep everything first. Right now I'm combing out the hair just to get it lifted off the scalp. That way, when I'm using a guard, the hair can easily feed through the teeth of the blade. This tip right here is most necessary for when your client is woofing. If your client has a lot of hair on top, you definitely want to comb it out before you start cutting. If the client has, you know, hair that's lower than a one guard, all you got to do is brush it and get everything laid in place. But if they're woofing, you most likely want to comb it out before you cut. So around the crown area, you want to really make sure that you comb it in that right direction. Now the crown is swirling, so you want to comb it, make sure it's nice and tight because that's really important when it comes to, you know, cutting a waiver. So my client says she wanted a two on top. So I went ahead and grabbed the two guard with the lever closed using my Andis Cordless Masters and I'm just going with the grain of the pattern. Making sure I just watch out for any calyx that's in the front and just making sure that I, you know, run that clipper uh, nice and slow at an even pace. You don't want to go super fast and, you know, you could potentially plug your client by, you know, maybe the guard might slip off. Just anything can happen. So you want to make sure you take your time and you know what you're doing. Now I can't stress this enough. Uh, when it comes to cutting a waiver, a waiver knows what a waiver wants, all right? So she said she wanted a two guard. So as you can see, I got my two guard on. You don't see me putting on a 1.5 and just thinking because it might look better that, you know, that's something I just give her. No, I just do what the client acts, all right? So let me explain to you guys why a waiver will keep their hair thick versus a waiver wanting to um, you know cut it low the reason why waivers want to keep their hair thick is because they're going right back on the wolf journey what we're trying to do is better our connections all right and the the way that we do that is by growing our hair out and you know brushing for for hours at a time and just trying to perfect our waves as possible now the reason why a waiver would cut their hair short like say a 1.5 is that they're trying to basically rebuild. They're trying to start, they're not, not necessarily start all over, but they're just trying to cut it low to where they could perfect certain areas. Just like perfecting certain areas with growing your hair out, um, which is more for connections, but cutting your hair lower, that kind of helps with, um, you know, finding out your pattern and what, what way uh, you need to brush and just a lot of waiver stuff that you know you kind of need to know about if you're a barber cutting waivers. to brush everything right back down um, making sure that everything is laid nice and neat um, and this helps with uh, making your client feel secure because if if you're brushing it the correct way they gonna feel if <laughs> if you're brushing it right or not you know what I mean so you want to make your client feel secure by brushing their hair back down and just you know going with the grain of their pattern and it just really relaxes the client and makes them feel like okay he knows my pattern he knows what I want and that's just what we look for as waivers
right now, I'm going to take my shears and just lower the crown a little bit. I know you guys see me twist the brush with the crown. Basically, I was just making the crown tighter. And now I'm just cutting off the loose hairs with my shears. So with the one guard open, I'm just going with the grain, lowering the sides just a little bit so everything can flow. So after that, I'm gonna set my ball line using my Andis Cordless Masters. And I'm really gonna focus on keeping this taper super low. So I'm not gonna go too high on the ball line and I'm just kind of flicking out as I go along. Now with the lever open, I'm just going up. Again, I'm not really trying to take this taper up too high. I'm just using my corners, trying to perfect those certain areas that I see that's bulky. So after that, I'm using my two guard open, just clearing out some of that bulk at the top. Um, with this type of texture, you basically gotta go by what you see, all right? You gotta clear out the bulk. Um, you can't just use the guidelines for what it is. You have to freestyle. So what I mean by freestyle is that, you know how I use the, the Pacific steps? Sometimes you're gonna have to just play with it. Go back and use some of those guards uh, within those steps and you know try to perfect it as you go along now with the zero guard closed in a flick out motion i'm flicking out which seems to be that middle line um like i said freestyle man some of the stuff that that i do you you kind of got to just eyeball it and and look at it adjust your levers and take it from there <laughs> So right now, uh, I have my lever open and I'm just detailing at this point, but I mean, majority of this cut, I was detailing as I as I went along. I had my base, um, you know, my lever open, my, my ball line, my lever open, my one, two, and then I come back down. But in some cases, like I, like I stated, um, you're just gonna have to kind of freestyle um, depending on the hair texture. And so with that, you kind of learn how to detail your work and how to, you know, take your, your, your fades to a next level. So my client wanted a slight taper around the ear. So I went ahead and grabbed my one guard with the lever closed and I'm just going down on it. I don't want to really fade it. I know she wanted like a little taper, but you know, I just wanted to cut it down. That way the hair won't overlap her ears because that's really what we're paying attention to as waivers. Now, as far as the back goes, it's the same exact techniques, all right? I'm using my Endis Cordless Masters with the lever closed to set in my ball line. Next, with the lever open, going up about a half inch, I'm keeping it consistent on both ends. With the one guard open, going up the same amount, a half inch, and just making sure that I brush that hair down as I go along. Now before I go and use the two guard and go up with it, I'm gonna go with the two guard closed and run my clipper down. That way I could get everything a little bit lower at the top and knock some of that bulk off with the grain. Now opening up that lever with the two guard, I'm just gonna clear out some of that bulk at the top. Right now, I put back on the one guard open and I'm just kind of flicking out, making sure that that area at the top gets blended in.
with the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Keep in mind to stay below the line and flick to the line. Don't start at the line and flick up. Then you're gonna create another guideline. So make sure you stay below that line as much as possible. Use your corners. Right now with the lever open, using my corners, I'm just kind of flicking out that some of those areas where the zero guard close couldn't get. Um, this allows me to get in those tight little uh, areas where you know you can't get with a guard. Basically, using my my clipper as a thinning sheet. So right now I'm just gonna close the lever and just flick out that bottom line. Now it's not really much uh, to take out, but you still wanna give it that extra once over just so everything looks clean. So when it comes to the lineup part, you don't wanna push your client back. That's one of the biggest things when it comes to waivers. You just wanna take off the overhang. Now for the video purposes, I like to start in the middle and work my way to the side. Usually if I'm not filming, I'll start on my vertical bars first and then start evening it up in the middle. Starting from the middle is kinda harder in my opinion um, because you really gotta make sure everything is straight head on you know what I mean if you line up the vertical bars first you have that sort of guideline um, to where you can match it up on both ends so I think it's best to just start on the vertical bars first uh, if you're experienced uh, definitely just uh, do what's comfortable for you but for a beginner definitely vertical bars Now when it comes to the C cup, it's all about artistry at this point. I mean, it's all about putting your own twist to it, um, trying not to push back, but in some cases you might have to just a little bit to get that curve that you're looking for. Um, with lining up, it's your own style. I mean, everybody got their own style of lining up and you know, I, I just like to be creative and this is the part where uh, you can really shine because this is the lineup. This is the this is this is everything right here. All right, this is what makes the haircut stand out. So treat it as art. You know what I mean. Uh, put your lines in and just be creative as much as possible. Make sure your work stands out from the rest. Uh, make sure that your curves are as neat as possible. Your lines are as neat as possible. Sometimes you're gonna have to take a second to look somewhere else to readjust your you know eyesight but it's all about uh, making sure that the lines are smooth and just as neat as as you can get it now when it comes to around the ear I know that's a lot of people's difficult part um, you just gotta hold that ear down uh, visualize which, where you want the line, how smooth you want the line. You want to start up, 
uh, like I'm doing right now, start in that area first and then work your way down. For me, it's better to start at the top of the ear than to start at the bottom. That's just how, you know, I like to do things. Um, but it's all about what works for you, man. You got to find out your rhythm. You got to get your, your, you know, your angles, the best way you like to do things. You know what I mean? This, even though this is the way I do it, you might do it a little differently. So when it comes to enhancements, I like to ask my clients if they want it or not. Chances are, because they see me do it on YouTube and you see how clean it is, they want the enhancement. So all I'm doing is spraying using uh, this card that, you know, it really helps block out that paint from getting on the skin. And just in my opinion, um, every student should stay away from uh, using enhancements. I mean, you're in school right now. Uh, just try to perfect your craft as much as possible. You don't want to start implementing enhancements to just cover up, you know, the lack thereof. That You know what I mean? You want to get the basics done right, all right? Once you learn the basics, once you learn uh, the ins and out on how to cut hair and how to really take your uh, craft to its peak, uh, I think that's when you, you're able to use enhancements because you're using enhancements just to enhance and not to cover up. So this is the part to a waiver where they feel like you're going the extra mile. All right, this is the part where you do a freehand trim on top, get all those frizz to lay down or just come off because we do not like seeing frizz on the top of our head. We like to see our waves looking nice and smooth, laid, you know what I mean? That's that's what we love the most. So uh, get those hairs off top. Um, 
And sometimes you, you might have to take it slow the first time you do this. Because I remember the first time I did a freehand trim, man, my hands were shaking. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was, it was real. I was real nervous. But, you know, you only get better with time. And just take your time as a, as a person doing this uh, that never done this before. Um, if You might want to use shears if you're more comfortable with shears. But this right here is really critical. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360 Jeezy Because when they come in my chair, I spin them in a the full 360 And they come out looking like BAM You too, this is The Cut And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button Also, if you like the beat, Hustle Dreams Production That's my brother, he does all my beats His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools you have seen in this video Check out the links in the description below. Otherwise, it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Chip.